Namaste. I'm Izichi Ade. This is the Golden Circle Movement Channel. Today I'd like to discuss suffering, which is a form of purification. So, as we have come to understand, clouds that are formed in the auric body due to our wrong thoughts, words, and actions, they accumulate in our auric body and become disease, poverty, conflict. Now, this may bring us into a situation where we are suffering from a disease or a lack of funds, lack of inspiration, maybe even uh, negativity in our lives. No matter where we go, people seem to dislike us or someone there has a problem with us. Well, as we receive light, these clouds dissipate and we are lighter. Our lives become more fulfilling. We are able to see ourselves progress upwards and we are happier. Now, there are situations where toxins, clouds passed on from ancestor to ancestor, congenital toxins, congenital clouds. These things follow the family line. One or two people, maybe all of the family members suffer from this situation and it is ongoing and ever worsening. No matter how much light you seem to receive, it may relieve the situation for a while, but then it returns. It comes back maybe even stronger, maybe it never leaves. It just intensifies due to the fact that we're bringing these toxins to the surface. So, what is to be done about congenital clouds, congenital toxins that cause us great suffering throughout our lives. How do we carry on? How do we raise our heads up and look to the future with hope and promise when we're constantly being bombarded with this situation? Well, it is a matter of faith. Now, as we understand, true faith is not external as to say, oh, I have faith that God will deliver me. This is internal, where you must create the passion for truth for love of others. You must create this within yourself to love yourself, no matter how flawed you are or your situation is. But this love that you share with others, the light that you bring to the world, will raise the vibration of all of the ancestors connected to this congenital situation. The more you help others, the more you raise the vibrations of others, you will find your situation will change. You will reach a point where your atonement for all of the ancestors who suffered with this situation, those toxins will leave the body, leave the spirit, and you will be more capable of transmitting more powerful light to others. Now, it is also true that whether you are clean, clear of these congenital toxins and clouds, 
that an individual sitting before you or in your mind's eye who is suffering greatly, maybe as you are, if you send light to them, the magnitude of light that they will receive is according to uh, the amount of clouds and toxins that they have. So what this means is that light flowing through you is more intense than if you were giving it to a person who just simply has a headache or has, you know, some tiredness or whatever their situation may be. But if their situation is minor compared to this major uh, purification that another individual is going through, that person who is receiving the major purification will draw a lot of light through you. Purifying your situation even more. So, I would say that if you suffer from chronic illness, if you suffer from uh, uh, chronic poverty, cr chronic uh, conflict with others, then your objective must be to locate as a game, find people who are suffering even more than you and help them raise their vibration. Help them as much as you can with light. Bring light into their lives. The more light that you bring into the lives of those less fortunate than yourself, the better it will be for your case. That is not to say that it is a bargain that if I help these sick, sick, sick people, I will be healed. That is not the proper attitude. The proper attitude is to look beyond your own suffering and make your mission helping these people who are suffering worse than you by this type of virtue, you will find the intensity of light that you receive for your situation will be greatly increased without you having done anything to request more light. It will just simply be the case at hand. So, Do you help those who are less fortunate than yourself? Do you make your mission to help those who are suffering become happy and to help them raise their vibration? Do you do these kinds of things? What do you do? with your chronic congenital situation? I'd like to know. I'd like to hear in the comments below. Please subscribe to this channel. Please ring the notification bell so you know when new videos are uploaded. Thank you for your participation in this Divine Light program. Thank you for helping to create paradise on Earth. I'm Izichi Ade. This is the Golden Circle Movement Channel. Namaste.